Right. I think we also know the kinds of activities that Hezbollah has been uh, responsible for. I mean, as Americans, and we have talked about this here before, the Marine barracks bombing, responsible for killing hundreds of Americans. Our vice president went out to one of our Marine barracks here not too long ago to honor those that were killed. So it should be no surprise that Hezbollah is a terror organization. It should be no surprise that Saudi Arabia is upset when a missile gets launched into its territory. That's all I have for you on that. If okay. Hezbollah is a terrorist organization, what about Qatab Hezbollah in Iraq, headed by a man whom the U.S. authorities had imprisoned at Camp Cropper for killing Americans? Yeah, Isn't that also Lori, a terrorist I know. Consumer? You and I, uh, we covered this about a week and a half ago. I just have to refer you back to what we said at that Lori, time. Uh, Lori, hi. What do you want to believe? that by supporting Prime Minister Abadi in Iraq, that that is a way to contain Iranian influence in the region? I, I think there are, 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 are numerous ways uh, to contain Iranian influence in the region, and one of them is a step that uh, Prime Minister Abadi has recently taken. And if you look at the relationship, their strengthening relationship with the government of Saudi Arabia, that's a real step in the right direction. They're all Arabs there. Uh, you've seen Saudi Arabia reopen um, the uh, land crossing between Iraq and Saudi Arabia that had been closed for many years. There are taking steps. They're taking steps in a positive direction. When we were at the United Nations, uh, the government of uh, Saudi Arabia and others talked about helping to finance some of the big major reconstruction projects in Iraq. We just saw a report that came out, I think it was in the news earlier today, about uh, the level of devastation in Iraq. Understandably so, because there's been the big battle fought against ISIS over the past few years. So there's going to be a lot of money that's required to rebuild Iraq, and the fact that some of those nations are willing to take that on is pretty incredible. It was just not that long ago that the United States was paying for all those big reconstruction projects. Times have really changed. We're helping out, certainly, but governments in the area are stepping up uh, and they're helping. Do you see the Saudis as your partner in containing Iranian influence in Iraq through things like paying for reconstruction? You know, I, I, I think we have we have some shared interests, and we have some shared interests in terms of uh, terrorism and fighting terrorism and recognizing the malign influence of Iran in the region and around the world and other terror groups. We would like to see peace and stability in Iraq. We'd like to see peace and stability in Syria and elsewhere. And I think to the extent that we can work together uh, with Saudi Arabia and with other nations, then we're, we're better off as a result. Okay, if okay. I could just follow up then the, on this stability in Iraq. Um, the Iraqi, the KR, the Kurdish regional government has warned about constant, that, that Iraq is deploying heavy weapons, including U.S. weapons to the front lines with Kurdish forces while the talks are continuing. And it doesn't really look like Baghdad is so interested in a peaceful settlement. What is your, what is your comment on that deployment of weapons against the... Lori, I, I would disagree with your assertion, first of all, okay? Um, last time we were here together was, I think it was a week ago today. And think about the change that has come in the past week alone, where you have had the Kurds and the Iraqi central government sitting down and actually having conversations together. It was not that long ago that they were firing weapons at one another. So the fact that they're willing to sit down and have a dialogue, something that we have been encouraging for weeks now, I think is a step in the right direction. Uh, we applaud those steps. We look forward uh, to more conversations uh, between them so that they can try to come to some sort of an arrangement where they can adhere to the Constitution. We have had our ambassador, Ambassador Silliman, he was uh, recently up meeting with uh, Mr. Barzani, um, Netravan Barzani, in uh, just a few, I believe it was just a few days ago, up in Erbil. So I think I think some positive steps are, are, are being made. Okay. okay? Well, All right, Lori, this is not the Lori show today, okay? Some days it's the Matt Lee show, some days it's the Lori show, but we, let's move on, okay? Okay. <laughs>